What's going on, Pixar fans? Dan Taylor from DanThePixarFan.com here once again, and I am so excited because I have finally found the Finding Dory Blind Bags Series 4. So if you know me, if you know my blog, if you know my channel, I have been super into collecting these since they started with Series 1 last summer, and I have been a dedicated collector of these fun little blind bags here, and I have been searching everywhere for months now for Series 4. Like seriously, since January I think they started showing up across the US, and they have not shown up in my area until now. And I finally stumbled upon them at Toys R Us like two nights ago, and I was ecstatic. So we are going to be opening these up and I am going to have so much fun. Again, if you've seen my other videos or if you've seen videos on these, you know, quote, blind bags, they're not really blind bags again. There is a little window back here where you can see who you're getting. But we're not going to look like usual because we want a little bit of a, a little bit of surprise as we open these up. So this series has, again, like usual, eight new characters. This time around, we have Bailey. We have Shuck the clam, Gary, the squid, Kyle Hank, which is like a white, almost translucent Hank, Baby Dory, or they call her Little Dory here, Bill, Carol, and Kathy. So we're going to go ahead and start opening these up, and let's just do it. And if you're new here to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date on my latest videos. So the first character that we have here is Kathy. So Kathy was in Finding Nemo and also in Finding Dory. In the original film, she's the one that says, oh my gosh, Nemo's swimming out to sea with those big teeth here. It's hilarious. And then she's in Finding Dory. She mentions, uh, she mentions Dory's family or, or, you know, she asks Dory about her family. So this is a really cool figure. I've always loved the stylized designs of these figures. And of course, again, these are, they're just hard plastic figures. They don't have any really posability or, or action features or anything like that. They're just cute uh, figures to display. So let's go on to the next one. The next one here is awesome. So this is Tile Hank. Tile Hank, he's got the, the tile kind of camouflage pattern here. Like I said, he's kind of translucent. He's a really cool color. It's fantastic. It, it, I think it's almost supposed to be like when he was camouflaged with the tile in the quarantine office. I think that's exactly what they were going for. So this is a very cool Hank. I think this is like the, the fourth or fifth, maybe the sixth uh, color or style of Hank that they've done in this collection. So it's very cool. I'm always excited to have a new new color Hank in this series. Let's see who's next. Sweet! So this is Carol. Carol is one of the little crabs in the, the open ocean exhibit. That's what it is. The open ocean exhibit. And that's where the blue tangs were that, that, that left. And she tells Dory that the blue tangs were no longer in that tank and that she should swim through the pipes to get back to quarantine. Very, very cute. Okay, let's see who's next. Nice! So this is, this is the giant squid that chases Nemo and Dory and Marlin through the, the, shunk, the sunken ships. And it's so funny that, that he has a name that they, they call him Gary because he's definitely not a, a fun-loving character. They made him really cute in this series, but he's definitely not a cute character. But they kind of gave him a cute name and they made him super cute. And it's just hilarious to me that they named him Gary. Who would have ever thought his name was Gary? But it's super cool that they, that they made him. I actually... Um, he was in my wish list for characters I would hope they make, but I actually never thought they would because it was such a such a kind of intense character and it was kind of just a, a very brief appearance. But look at that. They made him. I'll take it. I love it. Okay. Da, 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 da. 
Our next Finding Dory mystery blind pack character is nice. So this is Bill. And Bill here was along with Carol and they were both there when they were telling Dory to swim through the pipes. They're in the open ocean exhibit. And Bill, here's a fun fact, Bill is voiced by none other than John Ratzenberger. He is the voice of Ham and P.T. Flea and the Yeti and all those characters. He appears, of course, in every single Pixar movie with a voice cameo. And Bill was his cameo in Finding Dory. So it's awesome to have him represented as a toy. Let's see who is next. Final predictions. And it is Baby Dory or Little Dory. I love Little Dory. I have several toys of Little Dory and a plush. And this one is especially, look at her little mouth. They did a really extra cute job with this Little Dory here. I love this. I'm so glad they made her in this collection. So cute, right? I suffer from short-term rememberly loss. <laughs> okay, so we got two more. We're in our final two now. And... Awesome! I love this one. Okay, so this is another one I actually hoped that they would make. A long time ago in an early wish list, I hoped that they would make the Loudmouth Clam from Finding Dory. And look at that, they did. I didn't actually think, kind of like the squid, I didn't think that they would make this one, but they did. And they actually call him Shuck. That's never said in the movie, but um, this is the clam that Nemo and uh, Marlin, they land in that tank and the, this clam was there and he was talking about his girlfriend Shelly and kind of crying and telling jokes. And um, he is actually, here's another fun fact. He was actually voiced by the director of the film, Andrew Stanton. And if you didn't know that, there you go. Add that to your, your collection of fun facts there. But this is a really cool figure. It's actually way cooler in person than I, than I expected. So I love this design. Such an obscure character. I can't believe they actually made this, but I was hoping they would. So our last one here. By process of elimination, we should actually know who this is. And you'd be correct in thinking it is Bailey. So Bailey here is another one that, man, he is one of the main characters of the film and it's taken all the way up to series four to finally get a Bailey. So that is so exciting. I'm glad that they didn't leave him out. And what a great design. What a great figure. He's gonna look so good along with all the other figures. So that is it, guys. So many awesome characters this time around. I love this series. I don't know if it's just my excitement because it's been so long, but this might be my favorite series yet. I probably say that every time though, I don't know. But, you know, Series 5 has started hitting stores. I found about half of it so far, so I will be doing a video on Series 5 soon. But I kind of want to have them all before I do a full unbagging video. But Series 5 is out there, and I'm excited to share those with you. And again, thank you so much for hanging tight. I know it's been a while. I know that a lot of you have been wondering, when am I going to do Series 4 of these blind bags? Well, that time is finally here. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date for my latest videos and so that you will stay notified when I do upload the Series 5 blind bag video. So thank you so much again, guys. You are the best, and I will see you in my next video, and you have an awesome day. Take care.